Hello guys, welcome. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com and in this tutorial we are going to talk about how to add these navigation topics. So we have added this tab called topics or we can say that this tab came as part of the template. And here you can see there is this arrow message and under this arrow message if you want to add some subtopics or you can say some navigation items that if somebody clicks on it they can go over to that topic page. So we are going to build something similar to this in this tutorial. So let's go back to our site. So in order to go to the site I'm going to close this and uh, I went over to all sites and this is where the site is. So let's take a look at how the site is currently looking like. So if I go over to the builder, you can see if I preview this, this is how um, I'll go ahead and preview it as an authenticated user. And this is how the site is looking like. You have the home page cases and then we have is topics. So under the topics, if let's say I want to add some navigational topics as well we are going to do that in this tutorial very simple to do it all we have to do is we go either you can go to the workspaces or from the builder itself you can click on this top left hand side and you can go over to the content management so let's go ahead and click on the content management here and if you go under the topics tab you know how to do feature topics. We have added feature topics in the previous tutorials. Then in the article management, what we did was whatever articles we created, we assigned a topic to them, right? So we went ahead and assigned a topic. And then similarly, we can set up navigational topics. So let's say if you want navigational topics to be different than the feature topics, then you can add your navigational topic name. So let's say here, I'm gonna say features is one of the navigational topic I want to add. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on add. The other one is uh, products. This is another topic that I want to add. And the third thing I can say is um, customer support. Okay, so this is, uh, I'm just gonna call it as support. Now this is the third navigational topic that I'm adding. Now let's go ahead and hit the save here. So now you have added three navigational topics. Now let's go back to our website and see what change it has done. So if I go over to the home page here and uh, let's refresh the page now. If you see there is a drop down arrow has been displayed next to the topics. And then here you can see all those three topics that you have added. You have added features, you have added products and support. Now, if you had any articles that are tagged under this particular topic, then you will be able to see those articles over here. But since we do not have any articles which are under this category, or I can say this topic, that's why there are no articles are found. But if you go back to your article management, let's say, and over here, let's say you have added another topic uh, for this particular thing, then you can go ahead and if I go over to the products, let's say this is a navigational topic that I'm adding along with this upcoming products, we'll go ahead and do that. Similarly, let's say I will go over to the next article and I'll also give another topic to it and that's the support. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the save here. Similarly, I'll go over to the third article and I'll give another topic, I'll assign another topic called features to it. And then here, I'm gonna go ahead and choose this features. Let's this one and then hit the save. Similarly, let's say we go over to the fourth one and I am going to assign another topic to this article called support. Okay, the topic name is the support and then let's hit the save here. So now I have assigned each of my articles two topics. One was from the featured list, remember I did it. And now I have done it based on the navigational topics also. If you go back to the site and let's refresh the site again. Here at this time, if you go over to the features and if you come to the articles, you will see under the features, this is an article that is available. Similarly, if you go over to the support, then 
if you go to the articles tab, you have two articles under this topic. So what we have done is we have added navigational topics and we have also assigned our existing articles to those topics. That way, when somebody goes to that uh, topic page, they will see some articles onto that. Similarly, if you want to post any kind of questions, then when you click on ask a question, you can automatically, you will see those three topics, the navigational topics that, okay, this question belongs to which category or which topic. Okay. So you can choose features, products, and support. These are the three navigational topics that we created. So anytime a customer posts a question, they will also be able to categorize those questions under these three categories or under these three topics. So this is how you add navigational topics to your site. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to add your own new topics and if you want to add more knowledge articles, do it as part of the assignment, add a couple more topics onto your site and create few more knowledge articles so you can practice how to do that. Okay. I am going to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much.